barely, okay. This is the papilla that we caught today. It's one of the smaller ones, but it's big enough that we can keep it. Um, this is the lure that I used. It's homemade, and I tried to make it look like an oama, so it would go for it. So today we're just gonna pan fry the papilla. We have garlic salt, and we have some pepper. So we're gonna use the, we have oil, and we're gonna use it to fry the fish. So we're going to heat this up uh, and we're going to put in the oil. And then we'll just let it heat, heat up. So yeah. Okay, so while that's heating up, we're going to prepare the fish. So first we're going to score the fish about three times on each side. So, we want to get it to the spine of the fish on each side. Okay, and then we're going to season the fish by putting some garlic salt on it. Then we're going to put some pepper on it. Okay, so now we're going to put the fish into the pan. Oh, it fits perfectly. Don't get burned. Do this with adults. Okay, so the fish is in the pan. So this is my dad. Um, he's on the boat with us today. He drives the boat. And, um... He was digging the other side to get the other fish. That's not funny. I don't even know what it's done, Gavin. It needs to look crispy. We Put the seasoning to make it taste good. I hope it tastes good. This is my first time doing this. Part of that looks good. You need to go a little bit longer. Try to put the fish on the oil so it cooks faster. Or it gets hotter. Come on, it cooks flat. Don't move to the center of the pan. Ah. 
Okay, so the temperature right now is it's, it's, it's medium high. It's medium high. Um, you might have to turn it down. Make sure to get the whole fish. You don't want any raw parts. Let's check again. It's pretty good, huh? A little bit longer. Maybe a little bit longer. Not bad. The tail fell off. The tail fell off. <laughs> I'm going to keep grabbing it from the tail. Or just let it sit there for a little longer. So, you're going to want to wait and cook the fish until it's golden brown. So, maybe like about a little bit more on this side, but kind of looking like the middle. That looks pretty good right here. Maybe a little bit more on the other side. Okay. So, the lure that we caught it with is just a fly, and there will be a tutorial that I will make soon about how to make them. Okay, so, we're gonna have to flip it now and hook the other side. So while this cooks, we're going to put it on this plate after, and then we'll just see how it tastes. I want that tail part to be this soft. Almost there. This is my first time doing it, so. It's gonna be yeah. Okay. So we're gonna turn on the heat, and this is my first time doing this, so I don't kind of don't know what I'm doing. It's being instructed by my dad. So let's check out this side. Maybe a little bit more on this side, and then, because in the middle it's still kind of red and pink. Try not to get burnt, it really hurts. And it does sizzle like this, so it hurts a lot. Do this with adults. It looks pretty good. We'll turn off the heat, and then we'll pick up the fish, and put it on there. We'll get the tail. Tail on there. Okay, so that's how you cook it, and now it's time to eat. Okay, so it kind of cooled down. It's been five minutes, and I wanted to try it, so grab a piece here. Show you soy sauce, whatever you want to call it. Wow, that's good. That's really good. I'm going to eat a lot of this. That's really good. Cameraman, you want to try it? Eat it. Yeah, give me a camera. Is it good? Oh my gosh, that is... Oh no, it's so good. Okay, so... Thank you for watching this video. Um, please subscribe and like. It means a lot to me. I'll make more videos. And bye, thank you for watching.